Okay, so here are three tips to help you make £17 an hour with delivery. So up here in the cards, I've got all the evidence you need in a video to demonstrate that I've made £17 an hour, I've made £19 an hour before, there's some £14 an hour in there. Um, but yeah, so here are three tips. So. Overall, it really depends on what hours you do. So you need to know your city, know your town you're riding in. What hours are the busiest? What hours have the busiest times but least riders? So you get stacked orders. Stacked orders means one after the other with no break in between. Because um, that is the most efficient use of your time. So, know your hours is number one. If you work, for example, at 11 o'clock, I found personally up here in Liverpool, it's pretty dead. I can go a good 15 minutes between orders without getting anything. However, if I work the 7 to 9 o'clock, stacked orders, it goes on forever. I drop one off, bang, another one pops up. That is how you get, you know, a constant flow of orders to most efficiently use your time know your shifts. Next is to know your city, know the routes, know your way around it. So a lot of the time when I listen to Google Maps, uh, when I go, some people you know have the uh, phone holder on their motorbike or on their bicycle, but I listen to Google Maps. So when you follow Google Maps, it will not show you um, all the sort of shorter routes um, down some of the one-way roads and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying go down one-way roads because it can be dangerous if you go into a car or whatever, but what I am saying is, for example, there is a road eye cycle where you go up this road, right, and Google Maps will tell you to turn left, go up around the top and come back down. Simply because there's a meter, a meter of road where you can't actually, you have to come from the top down as opposed to the up right. So it tells you to go all the way down instead of just going this one meter across the little path onto the road. And that is it. So know your city, know your town, know the routes. That is tip number two, because that will make you so time efficient. You'll be cutting minutes off your delivery times, becoming more time efficient. And tip number three is very simply a cycling tip, the most basic one, pace yourself. If you are cycling for hours at a time, you're gonna be getting tired and stuff. Up here in Liverpool, there are a lot of hills. If any of you cycle here, you will know Mount Pleasant is a bit nasty to do shuttle runs up and down. Um, however, if you pace yourself, you know your pace, you keep at it, you will become faster and stronger. You will know to pace yourself up this part of the hill um, to then, you know, cycle faster here. Again, you'll become more time efficient. It's as simple as that. There's no point going and working at 11 o'clock and blasting every single second up the hills and stuff if you're not gonna have any orders. It's working smart and working hard. Work the long hours in the best hours. It's as simple as that. I hope that helped. You can use my code right here or in the link in the description to, um, it's a referral link. If you are thinking of working for delivery, you can use this and when you meet the minimum required deliveries, I think it's about 30, you will get paid, I will get paid. I think it's up to a hundred pounds. Um, so we both win. So yeah, hope that helped until next time.